Okay, Gospel Guitarist here, and today I'm going to talk about the GR55 editor. This is a free piece of software from Floorboard um, at their website. Just type in GR55 Floorboard in your search engine, and it'll pop, take you right there. Um, just click the link. Um, this particular one you're looking at is new. Um, I got this a couple days ago and noticed that they had upgraded it. And um, one of the things they added um, up here around the system, they have a red circle there so you can find the system settings a little easier, I guess. Um, I don't remember this easy tone being here the last time I used the software either. Um, so your structures one and two here um, can be switched. I can't remember if they added the circle there or not. Um, I just keep looking for things that they did uh, that they changed. But anyway, um, if you're not aware about this editor, it's free. It costs you nothing. If you want to donate to the developers, then do so. Um, it's a way where you can use the uh, GR55 plugged into your computer or laptop and you can go in and edit all the settings of all your patches using this piece of software uh, which can be faster um, than navigating through all the menus that are on the hardware. Uh, myself, I'm approaching it from the hardware standpoint first so I'm from a little vaguely familiar with the software. I haven't really gotten into it yet but I am keeping an eye on what they're doing with it and I love these kind of um, interfaces for our hardware devices. Um, they also have one out for the ME25 by Boss, um, and I did download that one as well, but I don't own the ME25. Um, everybody's kind of saying that it's not worth it by the ME70, so I'm kind of leaning that way because I like the way the ME70 is laid out. But anyway, um, over here on the left, we have a list of all the different um, settings and banks that are in your machine. So if you click on the little squares um, you can open up all of your banks so um, I have my own settings and I don't know probably the first four settings four banks I think I've filled up with my own stuff and just kind of getting used to experimenting with the settings thus far um, without going too deep um, so if I bring in something like the uh, acoustic guitar piano just double clicking on the link will load it into this area here and up in these black boxes in the upper left of the display will show you your user group and patch number so you're in bank one patch number three and then you have the name up here and it tells you where it's from which is the GR55 of course I don't know where else it would come from <laughs> um, and so you got your connect and write buttons up here uh, across the top you have these um, illuminating orange buttons um, to bring up different parts of your of the synth so if I want to play with my amp settings which are actually turned off on my acoustic settings but let's say I wanted to mess with it um, you bring up your amp speaker simulator and I can set up basically it's like a preamp on, on your guitar amplifier and um, you can select what kind of amplifier you want to use um, so I would probably go with a JC120 clean uh, if I'm playing my acoustic um, and the speaker type I'd probably 212 open back and I use a 421 a lot so this would set it up to sound like a 421 miking a 212 JC120 amplifier. And then I can close that. And as long as you know my amp light is on, then that, that's active. And if it's off, it's not. So if I go in here, now it's on. And it tells me right here in this box. So I can adjust my gain and level for just that particular part of this patch. Um, you also have things like noise suppression, modulation, your EQ, reverb. You can see on the screen here there's a lot of stuff. So you can go into each one and it'll pop up uh, what you want. You got your simple, you turn them on and off instead of navigating the menus on the hardware to turn them on and off. You just click a light 
and you're done. Uh, changing your structure, click a light. <laughs> changes your structure. The only thing that changes when you change your structure is the way this this connection is made through your modulations. Um, it bypasses your multi effects or it goes through your multi effects. So depending on what you want to do. Um, all of your signs are up here. I'm not into that part of the machine yet and I'm not trying to explain everything this does today. Just kind of giving you a real brief look at it if you haven't seen it. Um, when I found out this was out there I immediately just had to have it so because I like to have the software to run on my uh, on my hardware devices. So that's just a, a quick look at what you can do. Um, it, it's pretty deep and it just makes all the settings on your GR55 accessible in a software format. Um, again, it's completely free and um, they do take donations. Um, you can load and save in different formats with this. So you can export in SMF format, SYX format. Um, you can save it as a G5L patch. I think that's just the, um, the, genera the, the patch that it, the file that the system writes is a G5L patch. Um, so you can share those with friends that might have the same system. Or put your stuff up on your own website um, and share your patches that way. You can load them from other people into your system as well and load and save your, your global system data that's in your, in your uh, system. You can also take a look at um, your patch list summary. Um, it's constructing the list right now and it should pop it up here in a second. There. So we can go in here and check out each of the settings as far as what all the patches are. So if I forgot what was in U33, I can go in here and go, okay, that's the uh, soft bright pad and a jazz trio, the GR300 control with plus one octave. Um, so it's basically just a list so you don't have to carry around a printed list. It's just right here. What else we have? Um, system global text summary. We'll bring this up. It'll tell you the current patch and then it just basically it's just a printout of everything that's in your system. Um, for the patch. It looks like for the patch. That's a whole lot of stuff there. <laughs> so all of all of it, even your GK3 settings are printed out, everything. So if you for some reason wanted a hard copy of, of everything, uh, you could do that. And it also does do base mode. So if you're using this for, for your bass, it can do both modes, guitar and bass mode. And so that's just a quick little look at this really cool piece of software. More software reviews probably coming in the future. It's not really a review, it's just a look at it. Um, <laughs> I like it. Uh, it's pretty slick. It makes things easier. Um, but I am a, also a hands-on guy, so I am learning the system. I suggest that you learn your GR55 forward and backwards on the hardware unit itself before you dive into to this software package because there's just a lot of things you need to learn about the, the system so that the software makes it easier and doesn't confuse you further. Uh, that's my take on that. So, hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and share the video and check out my other uh, videos on the GR55. I have a playlist of other things that as I'm learning I am sharing with you all out there. So thank you for watching. Have a good day now. And Gospel Guitar signing off.